How's it going everyone? Today's video I want to show you how you can write iLogic so that you can switch out components. This is what I'm going to uh, show you how to write. I had this form already created so if, when I go to this form I can select the shaft diameter and because we changed the shaft diameter we'll have to change out these bearings. So if I went to one and a half these bearings get switched out and if I go back to one and a quarter these bearings get switched out um, switched back. So that's what I'm going to teach you today uh, but before we get started I do have a favor, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I make iLogic videos weekly and I am making a playlist for any beginner out there who has no coding experience. Uh, you know, automation is the future, so you don't want to miss out. All right, so let's get started with the, the rules. I'm going to suppress this one. This is the one that was running in the background and I'm going to make a new one, add a rule. All right, let's call it rule number two. All right, so with rule number two, but before we get started, we want to visualize what is it that we are going to write. What we want to do with this code is we want to switch out these bearings depending on what shaft diameter we select. And we also want to, uh, so we want to make an if and then statement and we want to make a component replace statement. Those are the two key steps to this. Uh, we have these little quick snippets that iLogic provides. We could use uh, this one. Um, yeah, we could yeah use some of that stuff, but if we already know how to do it, let's just get started. So if uh, drive shaft is equal to one and a quarter, then we're gonna use uh, some file. We're gonna use some file. Else, if drive shaft is equal to one and a half, then we're going to use another file. Right? There's there's two different files for these drive shafts. And after that, we want to uh, replace those components. <clears throat> so if you go to our folder, uh, we had to get the path and the file name depending on one and a quarter. So this is for one and a quarter. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And uh, first, I'm going to create a variable called s file. And with s file, I'm going to set that equal to uh, this right here. This is one and a quarter. And then for one and a half, I'm going to copy this again. S file is equal to this guy right here. Copy that uh, straightforward. All right. So <clears throat> what it's basically saying is if drive shaft is equal to one and a quarter, we're going to use this file. If it's equal to one and a half, we're going to use this file. And this uh, path, this text, gets stored into this variable. It, it makes the code a little bit cleaner. Uh, for me, it's easier to read. And now I know what S file is. So we want to uh, replace that component. So if we go over here and go through these snippets, there's one on, hmm, I think it's this one, components. Yeah, so under components, you can replace component. So if we go down here and we double click uh, replace component. So the first part is uh, the browser name. So what browser name is it? So this is what's signifying my bearing. And you know, just, just to uh, reemphasize from my pre previous video, you have to rename these if you're going to use iLogic. Uh, there's other ways to, uh, and there's other ways of doing this, but this is a simpler way, just so you know what is what. Uh, it's a little bit harder if you do it another way, but this is just the easiest way, for at least for me. And um, so I can know what a bearing is by just renaming these browser names. And I'll, and I'll show you how, uh, how to rename them right now. So left hand bearing. So that's the component we want to replace. Now over here, we're going to type in the file name. And the file name is S file. This true statement, what this one basically tells you is that if I press true or if I type true, it's going to replace all of these similar parts. Uh, anything similar to this guy is going to get replaced. So these two bearings always have to be the same, right? You, unless, you know, you have a shaft that's like one and a quarter here and one and a half, uh, which I, which my company usually doesn't do. So uh, I think true is okay just because we have to replace both, both bearings. Uh, but if we only want to replace one side bearing, then we'll, we'll type false. Uh, but true, true, true will be fine. 
And uh, oh yeah, so going back to the browser name, this is how you rename them. If you double click it, then you can rename it. So if I actually if I remove this uh, uh, that name, that's what it was originally. But uh, I have to rename it so that uh, iLogic is smart enough to know what is what. Let me turn on the notifications. All right, so left hand bearing. So now we have our rule created. All right, so if I go back to the forms, let, let's just type a little message box. So we know that this one actually ran. Message box show. Cool. All right, let's go back to our form. And if I go to one and a half, it creates it. Uh, I mean, it switches out that component. All right, hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe. I make iLogic videos weekly. You don't want to miss out. Trust me, you do not want to miss out. All right, talk to you guys later.